we are, I need a pair of Dalit and Mishnah bet. We're talking about lists of kinds of people and what their halachic status was. Says Mishnah, but not Tzedokim. The Tzedokim were the Sadducees. The Tzedokim, they had a, a, a Misora, a tradition that rejected much of the, of the, of the interpretation of the Torah Shabbat Peh, of the Purushim, the Purushim, the separatists, the Tzedokim, the Sadducees. There were two sects in the times of the Bayit Sheni. Tzedokim were connected to the Kohanim. Wikipedia says they were connected to the aristocracy. Some people think they didn't believe in Torah Shabbat. It's not true. They had, they had some kind of oral tradition. Everybody agreed the Torah could not be taken totally literally, but they were much more literal in the interpretation. So it says that the Tzedukim, they had a different kind of uh, interpretation. When they had the custom of following in the ways of their forefathers, meaning they had problems transmitting their tradition to their children as well. So when, but when they did have that custom, Harehen Kikutiot, then they have the status of Kutiot, meaning they had the status of Kutiot, as we said in the previous Mishnah. And the Kutiot, they were Boal Enidot, for they didn't follow Allah. Their Allah was significantly different. They didn't have the interpretations of, of Chazal, of our tradition. Therefore, they had to be had the status of Kutiot. But, Perushu Lelech Bidarke Yisrael. If they Perushu from Prushim, they separated themselves to follow the ways of Israel, or Bemki Yisrael Leon. It's really interesting. I am not uh, knowledgeable about this, but it started, this is a fascinating Mishnah. Because one gets the, the, the implication of the Mishnah is that a, a significant number of them did separate from their parents' ways and followed the ways of the Prushim. As we all we know, the Tzedukim eventually died out. So, Harein ki Yisraeliot, says the Bartunur, Aval Stama, but Stam, Harein ki Kutiot, they are like Kikutiot. Rabbi Yossi Omer, Rabbi Yossi says, no, Le Olam hen ki Yisrael, they are always considered like Jews, Ad shi Yifrishu lalecha bedarkei avotam, unless they separate, to go to follow the ways of their forefathers, Ustama ki Yisraelio. So, really fascinating. At some point, it was unclear, do the children of the Kutim, are they following the mainstream or are they following their parents? You know, if you follow the Kutim, and, uh, you know, they, they, it was a very harsh, very, uh, you know, uh, a strict uh, kind of halakha, which one could understand. It's very, and, and uh, you could see uh, the difficulty in transmitting that kind of, of lifestyle to your children when there's another Jewish lifestyle that's, I guess more open, more in, more enlightened. We follow. We find that challenge today. We'll stop your dedicated on learning to remember my father, Rav Simcha Ben Yitzchak Kalman. Make it a great day.